Hello everyone, I'm John with Chicago Vibrator Products and we're here on the demo day with Rhino to test out their pneumatic PD55 post driver. Rhino is a post driving company that's out of Illinois. They've been manufacturing post drivers for 40 plus years. We've been distributing them for about 20. And it's probably our most popular post driver for small to medium sized posts. So we make everything uh, in the U.S. We, we weld all this together, manufacture all this, cut the tube. When we hook up our air to it, you see we've got two inlets. We only use this inlet. And the reason why is you want all your stuff, you see all of our fittings that we can do go in line with impact. If you were to put it in here, it would work, but it would eventually wobble and break because this is going up and down all the time. PD-55 has one moving part in it. It's a piston. You hear it sliding. It just gets cycled up and down with air. That's it. That's, that's all it is. And that's uh, a stainless steel piston, right? Or, uh, it's an 8620 plate? hardened piston. Okay. Uh, and then ground to fit. It's five thousandths, less than five thousandths tolerance. If it reaches five thousandths, air starts to liquefy. Everything's powder coated. We've got a powder coat uh, booth and oven in our factory. And that's uh, a key part, I guess, to making the tool, uh, you know, weather resistant. Uh, you know, rust proof, I guess, and, and long lasting. Right? Oh, absolutely. The powder coating uh, is, is key to all that. These came out about mm, two years ago. Uh, if you scan this with any phone, you'll go to the uh, owner's manual. And it lets you run the tool from the, from the post. Obviously, a locking uh, you know, mechanism in it there. So you don't accidentally pull the trigger. So then we have adapters to go with it all. Those throttle valves are made out of stainless steel castings, so they don't rust. You'll see inside the piston diameter is uh, three inches. So remember, the hitting surface is only three inches. So when you get a post that has a hole in the middle, three inches or bigger, you have to use a drive cap. Otherwise, the piston will get stuck inside the post. 55, it comes from one inch up to three and a half inches. Every inch increments except for the three and a half. So one inch, two inch, two and a half, three and three and a half. The adapters just use two bolts. Torque specs are in here. These are, they call them Belleville washers. They're actually dome. Of course, we, we, it's all right in the instructions, but the dome goes down, one use washer. And these are already threaded, so it's not like yeah, you're- Yeah, all those on threaded. Yep. Lubricating this tool, we have guys that have them 25 years. I've seen them out there. Wow. 25 years, they're still using them if they use a lubricator. Our filter regulated lubricator does some different things. It uh, filters the air, so all the water that an air compressor can do and all the uh, dirt will go in through this filter. 42 CFM at 90 PSI is what we rated at. So do you program this for 90? Uh, right here, this, this knob spins. Okay. So once you turn the air compressor on, you'll see where it's at, and you'll either adjust, adjust it up or down. Right. Okay. Fill the labor lubricator here, and when I hook up my hose for the very first time, I'll open it up all the way, and then I'll tune it back down to six drops a minute. And you can see the oil drops in here. Okay. So six drops a minute, 10 drops a minute. But the reason I start with it all the way open is because those hoses are dry. That, fill, that lubricates them all up, yep. and then you can tune it back down to six drops a minute. With that, we recommend this is within 25 feet of the tool, uh, so you're not lubricating 200 feet of hose. Sure. That's why we built this carrier, because everybody wanted to put this on their compressor, so we built this carrier so that they could drag it around the job site and not get it up. Yeah. Strong, lightweight, you know, you can get to, you know, any part of your job site here. We sell that both ways. You can just buy the FRL, and you can just buy the carrier, or you yeah. can buy it put together. Yep. So 11 foot, you can buy this ready to go. Yep, as a skew. You can also buy it separately, and then there's a service fee of you know, putting on the... Uh, you uh, pay per foot, and then you, uh, it's one charge for putting those prints in. Guys who have 
done fencing already know whenever you sell it to somebody who doesn't, they're going to be like, how am I going to lift it up there on top of it? Well, yeah. you, you just don't. I mean, yeah. You just set it down. Yeah. Now you can see obviously why you want to chuck it down. That's hard to do. Absolutely. Yeah. It rattles around. But then you just stand the whole thing up. Yep. Yeah. Now you didn't lift 55 pounds. Yeah. And then you drive it around. <laughs>